this video is leaving off from the last video for the ZX14. If you haven't seen that video, there'll be a playlist listed down in the description. In the last video, I basically was going over all the different mods that Zach put on his 2013 ZX14 that I'm riding here. But in today's video, I'm about to go have some fun on this thing. The more I'm riding it, the more comfortable I'm getting with it and the more used to how it maneuvers I'm getting. So I'm gonna go throw it on the highway, go down a couple exits and go off into the country. So come along with me, y'all. So we're gonna throw this baby on the highway real quick. The only downside about this machine is that the speedo is off a little bit or a lot from what he told me. So we're gonna go down maybe two or three exits and then um, head off into the country. y'all see me shifting up a lot with the button but yes you can go down too look shift it down it's just when you shift down with this pingle shifter you want to you want to um pull in your clutch because you don't want that hard engine braking well at least i don't want that hard engine braking i'm gonna take this corner a little easy this is kind of a sharp corner and again, this tire is wide as crap. I could probably take it faster than this, but I don't want to take it too fast. I could definitely take it faster than this, but whatever. All right, we're on now. What are we going to do? Let's open it up and see what it can do. Oh my god, that quick shifter though. I didn't even give it full throttle. I gave it like a quarter of a turn. I don't know if I'm even comfortable giving it full throttle. Kawasaki, I, I, I'm gonna have to say it, like, Kawasaki designs some serious performance machines. They got this right here, which is the, uh, the ZX-14. Woo! <laughs> Man! So yeah, they got this, the ZX-14. They also have the fastest production motorcycle out there, which is the H2. And they built a better Grom than Honda could, which is my Z125. It has better performance than, uh, than the Honda has. So they're definitely on top of their games. Now they might not have the most comfortable machines. If you look in the cruise, take some long rides, kick back, then, you know, cruisers, Harley Davidson, stuff like that has that scene on lock. But if you're looking to go extremely fast, some performance riding or racing, you know, Kawasaki might be uh, at the top. And I'm a, I'm a Yamaha fanboy, you know, I'm Harley and Yamaha to the depth. But I do have a Kawasaki Z125. That's because Yamaha has not made a mini bike yet. I don't know what they waiting on, but uh, this thing fun. So far I've been out riding and I've seen about six motorcycles and I'll have to say like five of them are Harleys because that's what you go cruise and go tour on. This is what you go after ass on or go to the track. This ain't for cruising. It's not for cruising, baby. don't even gotta open this throttle all the way up i swear and on most motorcycles for the power to kick in you gotta downshift you don't got to on here you just 
and it just kicks in in every gear like man so we're on this long country road it sounds like i'm going extremely fast but i'm not at all because i'm not laying into it we right here about to turn up this nice little country road i like riding from time to time you know sometimes you just gotta you gotta have fun out on the bike okay welcome to the country baby so let's see how this swing arm and 240 wheel handles some minor curvy dinghies i'm not gonna do ridiculous on it but we're gonna see if it can do it Feels good. It leans pretty good, but it wants to go straight because while you're in your lean, it does want to stand back up. All right, here go another curve. Let's see how how she handles. Get on the outside of the curve. Take it in. Okay. It held steady right in this lane. And I feel like I was at a pretty decent speed. All right, so let me pull back a little. Let's see how this curve. Okay. It can definitely handle the curves. Golly. He was lying about the gas. This shit just disappeared. Oh yeah. It'll take a kerner. It'll take a kerner. So it can take a kerner. All right, we're gonna head up a little bit further. Then turn around and come back. I ain't gonna go too far. I'm happy I saw that gravel. Oh, let it fire. Oh, shit. <laughs> These are the type of roads I like. Nice sweeping, sweeping roads. Not like ridiculously sharp curves. All right, here we go. Here's a nice curve. Hit the curve angle. Nice slow speed. And pick up in it. Oh, yes. It'll handle a curve. Zach has a fun performance machine right here. But any motorcycle can be a fun performance machine but this one's set up right i am uh, there I, I have nothing bad to say about this motorcycle oh look cattle livestock and a big pond oh wait neutral gotta have fun on the bike sorry about this moto vlog y'all i'm pretty sure y'all are like uh are you gonna talk about anything i did in the beginning i think maybe maybe not no i don't know i'm having fun though 
think that's what I'm gonna name this one. Having fun on Zach's ZX14. Uh, I'm gonna pass it. Woo! <laughs> You better stop coming out that driveway like that lady. Don't come out that driveway like that. Scared the shit out of me like that girl. That ain't nice of you. Is the ZX14 a powerful motorcycle? Yes. In the moto log. <laughs> Is this bike a corner and machine? Yes and no. It can corner with the best of them. But I, don't, I still don't think it'll be as nimble or be able to lay down as far as like a Jixxer 1000 or um, like a Super Sport. What is that? Oh, Spider. Alrighty. If you enjoyed this video of me having fun on Zach's ZX14, definitely check out the playlist right there to your left. But as always, stay safe, be blessed, and get out there on two wheels. And have fun while you're out there on two wheels. Don't do nothing stupid, you know what I'm saying? But have fun. I want y'all all to be safe. It's your boy, Infinite Rider. Love y'all.